let's record a script in view generator to login in murky tools book a flight view the itinerary and sign off from the application To start load learner, choose start, all programs, murky load learner, click load runner, in the launcher window click create and edit scripts to launch view generator. Under the scripts tab you see two options to create a new virtual script or to open an existing virtual user script click new user script the new virtual user dialog box opens <clears throat> here you have an option to create a single protocol script or a multiple protocol script just for a background a protocol is a language that your client uses to communicate with the backend of the system that is nothing but the server if you create a multiple protocol script, you can record multiple protocols in a single script itself. For a learning purpose, we will stick to a single protocol script and select the web protocol since the Mercury Tools is a web application. Click OK. The Vuegen Wizard mode opens. On the top you see the toolbars. On the left hand side there is a task pane. In the middle it's an instruction pane. The Vuegen's wizard takes you through a step-by-step -step process of creating a script and then adapting it to your test environment. The task pane will list each step or task in the script creation process. As you proceed through each step, Vuegen displays detailed instructions and guidelines in the main area of the window that is nothing but the instructions. Now after the introduction, let's move ahead and record a business process. We'll track and record the events of one passenger reserving a flight from Denver to Los Angeles then clicking the flight itinerary before finally logging off from the application. To start recording click record application in the task pane and then click start recording from the instruction pane. Alternatively you can also click start recording from the tools menu bar or from the file menu view user start recording. The start recording dialogs box opens. Here in the URL you can mention the web address of the site under test. Also you have an option to choose the action where you want to record the events. Click on options. In the script node under the journal section, you have an option to choose the scripting language. Since we are using a demo version, the only language available is C, otherwise, you have C, Java, and so on. The protocol node gives you the various protocols to be recorded. Under the network section, the port mapping node gives you the port mapping. This option is available while recording multiple protocol scripts. Say for example you have a network traffic coming in from multiple protocols like HTTP, SMTP, POP3, FTP and you want to record traffic from a single protocol say HTTP. So you use port mapping. The recording node gives you the various recording options HTML based script or a URL based script. The HTML based script gives you steps generated for each HTML user action. The URL based script captures all requests sent from browser due to URL action. It is not as intuitive as HTML based script and, and is recommended only while recording pages such as applets or non-browser applications. The advanced node gives you the various advanced protocol related settings. Let's stick to the default. 
the correlation node gives you the various correlation related settings click ok in the start recording dialog box click ok to start recording the floating toolbar gives you many options like stopping, pausing, recording, transactions and so on. Log in the Mercury 2's website. Enter username Nick and a valid password. Click login. Click the flags button. The departure city is Denver, default. Select the arrival city as Los Angeles. Select the seating preference as IL. Rest of the settings being default, click continue. Select the flight at 1 pm. The payment information is pulled up from my registration data. Enter a credit card number and an expiry date. Please do not get excited about this. This is not my valid card information. Click continue. An invoice appears stating the booking is done. Check the itinerary. Click on the itinerary button. In the itinerary section, the booking done is reflected. Click sign off to sign up from the application. Our business process is recorded. Click stop in the floating toolbar to stop recording. This is the code generation pop-up window which will generate the code for us. If you observe, the ViewGen wizard has automatically proceeded to the next step in the recording pane. It is showing a recording summary in the task pane. The recording summary includes a protocol information and a list of actions recorded. For each step performed during recording, ViewGen has generated a snapshot a picture window during recording. Thumbnails of the recorded snapshots are displayed in the right pane. Now, let's save the script as Demo1 Now, we have recorded a travel agent logging in booking a flight, seeing the itinerary and finally logging off from the application. What view generator has done is recorded all the events done from the moment start button is clicked till the stop button is clicked. Now if the 